to What's Right with the World with your host, Glenn Ambrose. Hey everyone, welcome to What's Right with the World. So directly over to Ben for our story today. Hey Glenn. Uh, so today we are uh, talking about a story from USA Today. Um, France's 19-year-old phenom from the World Cup, Kylian Mbappe. I'm so so. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, uh, but he is the 19-year-old French phenomenon, and he is donating his World Cup earnings to charity. Um, wow. Yeah. So he garnered uh, global recognition for the performance this year in the World Cup, and the proceeds he earned are not going to go to him. He scored four goals this year as France claimed its second World Cup, and he decided to donate his earnings from the tournament to a charity that gives free sports instruction to hospitalized and disabled children. The organization also coordinates disability awareness campaigns for schools and businesses. After consulting with his entourage, he decided his World Cup premiums can serve a humanitarian cause. <laughs> That's pretty awesome and pretty great for a 19-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, that's phenomenal. And then it's, it's <laughs> you know, it cracks me up when I hear people go, oh, my God, the kids today. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, the kids today, 19 years old, don- donating their proceeds. You know, and that's, it, it also reminds me of something that um, one of my favorite teachers, Michael Bernard Beckwith, talks about in his, in his um, movie, Um, spiritual liberation he talks about like we people claiming um the the good for themselves and the praise for themselves and a lot of times we see it playing out in celebrity and sports and so he uses that for an example but of course we can do it all in our own lives but he's like you know an athlete it's like when they do something wonderful it's like oh yes look at me you know i'm wonderful and all that stuff. And as soon as they do that, they lose, they disconnect from the source in which that came. When they do something wonderful, that's an expression of, uh, of energy, an expression of the universe, an expression of God that's coming through them, you know, and, and they have to work hard to be able to put themselves in the, in the position where they can accomplish that stuff. But it's an expression of energy. And, and as soon as they think it's just them, that's when they lose the true meaning of it. And this person, obviously, you know, by going out there and doing that and then saying, you know what, I can take the proceeds. Yes, I did this wonderful athletic, uh, you know, thing and, and reach these wonderful heights. And, you know, boy, I can give back. I can give back to society for this. You know, that is, that's really a wonderful expression of, of, you know, not, not thinking it's all you, (laughs) you know, because it's not all us. We don't have the ability to do, we don't have the self-contained, the ability to accomplish great things. But when, when we allow the universe to work through us and use us and express wonderful things, then when we open up to that, that's really how wonderful things are accomplished. And, you know, this act, I think, really exemplifies that and and shows that this guy isn't just going it's all about me it's going how can my successes help others and that's that's a such a beautiful expression yeah and if he's so talented um which he clearly is uh you know four goals um in the world cup helping france win uh win the world cup which is huge um and he's only 19 he's probably got a long time left to play uh football soccer um in him and a lot more that he's probably going to do for people you know right i i don't foresee a situation where somebody who's so charitable at 19 um, <laughs> with success, will uh, will will end up being less charitable, you know. Right, and that's that's true because I mean, once you know, once people really open up to thinking on a grander scale and experience it, 
you can never forget that. You can't unlearn that, you know. It's it's going to feel it's just got to feel so wonderful for him to be able to do something like that. That why would why would you stop doing something that has that wonderful of a feedback, you know? So you're right, and you know this this can he can really benefit the world by really expressing himself as as a soccer player which is i just love the whole idea of it you know because it, i mean my son plays soccer so we were watching some of the world cup and stuff and and it's so of course when that's kind of near and dear to me but the the whole point that i think people need to understand is that it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you play soccer. It doesn't matter if you dig ditches. It doesn't matter if you're a life coach. It doesn't matter if you're a businessman or a businesswoman. It doesn't matter what you do. It matters that you're doing it because it brings you joy. And and if you if you're doing what brings you joy, then you're also bringing joy to the world. And 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 then all you know and certain people it, as they're doing that can do things like this which benefit the world in a financial way you know and in an energetic way on top of that yeah so and, it's, it's beautiful and you know we keep having these stories about uh soccer players or soccer organizations and stuff which is fantastic because it's um you know, I do. I do tend to um, pick them because I know how much you enjoy the game. Um, but uh, you know, it's the most popular sport in the world, right? And because of that, a lot of good is coming out of it from a lot of different places. So um, anyway, uh, that's it. You know, if you have uh, things that you'd like to share, share it with us. Um, at the Great Love Project, and use the hashtag What's Right with the World. Glenn, anything else? No. Nope. If um, if you want to discuss this stuff, reach out. I'm at glennambrose.com, and uh, we'll talk with you soon. Glenn is available for life coaching sessions. To book an appointment or for more information, go to glennambrose.com, follow him on Facebook and Twitter, or click the link in the description of this episode. 